North Texas schools face lockdowns and scary moments today, all because of fake threats. And that's raising concern about the growing number of students fabricating threats that cause panic and waste resources. CBS 11's JD Miles joins us live from Carrollton, where police responded to one today. JD? Gilma, police have cleared the scene here at this Carrollton Charter School where someone wrote a message on a bathroom roll referring to a school shooting. In Princeton, a student was actually arrested yesterday over a hit list that authorities determined was only a bad joke. It has a lot of professional counselors and law enforcement concerned and urging parents to talk to their kids and teach them to take references to school violence a lot more seriously. Tyler Jace Heinrichs may have only been joking about a school hit list that Princeton police say he was arrested for on Thursday. But the school district sent a letter to Princeton High School parents stressing that jokes are taken seriously, especially in today's climate. And what our job is, is to train children. Elizabeth Scrivener is a licensed professional counselor who says it's an example of why parents need to better train their children to avoid making light of school violence. She says there are examples of how it works. A kid could jokingly say something in airport years ago about a gun. I don't see any children doing that in airport these days. There's nothing funny about a gun, a bomb. It's not funny at all. A message about a school shooting written on a bathroom wall sent Carrollton police to this charter school today. It was also determined not to be a real threat. I would say the vast majority are frivolous, mm -hmm. but you have to take all of them seriously. You cannot let one slide because that'll be the one that'll get you. Before he retired, Rich Emberlin spent a lot of time scanning social media for threats as a DPD criminal intelligence officer. He says if young people knew how easy it is for authorities to find and trace jokes, pranks, and hoaxes about school violence, they wouldn't do it. Yeah, I think when they tweet something and 45 minutes or an hour later, you're at their school or you're at their house in front of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it shakes them up, and it should. Emberlin says if there were fewer bogus threats, authorities could spend more time investigating real ones, including those made by the suspect in the Florida school shooting. And the counselor we spoke with said that if police and psychologists had a better relationship, it would help detect real threats a lot better. Live in Carrollton, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.